This is an Algebra 1 sample question number 9, Part B. All right, so this is Part B of, the, um, of number 9 that we started last time. And this one is still Leia, who wants to earn at least $120 per month. She babysits for $5 an hour and works in an ice cream shop for $8 an hour. Leia cannot work for a, mo a total of 20 hours per month, so she cannot work more than that. <clears throat> So now, from part A, we found that this is the correct answer. We chose it from A, B, C, and D, and we found that this represents exactly what she's looking for. And in case anybody's confused as how we got that, it's because um, we did graph both equations, and our equations were $5 per hour that she was babysitting plus $8 an hour that she is at the ice cream shop and she wants it to be more than 120 and this one was represented by 0 15 and then 24 comma 0 that's how we got this one and if you were to shade it correctly which I didn't show last time it would be shading above because you want to earn more than 120 the other equation we had was that she can work more than uh, more than 20 hours, sorry. So X hours for babysitting plus Y hours for the ice cream shop cannot exceed because she cannot work more than 20 hours a week. And if you found the X intercepts, that was at 0, 20, and that was at 20, 0. And if you were to shade it, it would be shaded downward. So let me show you what that looks like. Right here, like that. And that's where you can see that the answer is this little tiny piece right here. The tiny piece that had the blue, that had the red overlapping. All right. So yes, you can kind of tell where it's going to be shaded without the test point, but I always do a test point to make sure. Here are two equations. And um, they want us to know these ordered pairs, are there any inside the correct answer? Do we have to do this mathematically? No, I have the graph from the previous one, I can just check. And since it says select all that apply, there might be more than one answer. All right, so let's do this together. I'm gonna check four comma 15. So here you have two boxes reaching, so one, two to five. That means each box is 2.5, just to help you out there. So it's four is very close to five, let's say. So five comma, uh, four comma 15, right there. That is in the shaded. So I'm gonna say that right now, we think that's the correct answer. How can you make sure 100% is the correct answer? This coordinate should work with both of these. This coordinate pair should work with the blue equation uh, inequality and the red inequality and create a true statement for both. So we will check that very soon. All right, let's talk about the next one. So five, five comma 12. So 12 would be um, very close to um, the middle here, 12.5, because each box is 2.5, so it'll be right there. That one looks a little suspicious because it's like on the border. But don't forget that this is a solid line, so that would technically also be included if it was on the solid line. So I'm going to say for now, it looks like it would work. But if I were taking this test, I would check B. I would be confident in A. So I would put a little star or something and check it. 10, 9. So if I go to 10 and then go up to 9. So remember, it's 5, 7.5, and then 10. 9 would be around here. So that one definitely looks like it's in the shaded. Too bad the shaded area is very tiny. That's what makes it so hard to figure out. Let's do 15 comma 5. 15 comma 5. Right there. That one is on one line only. It's not touching the other line as well. And there's no shading adjacent to it. So since it's only on one line, there's no shading. The other line is over here minding its business. I would say that this is incorrect. But again, if you take 15 comma 5 and plug it into both of these, you can just double check your answer as long as they work for both. All right, and now let's go to 19 comma 1. 
So 19 very close to 20 comma 1 would be around here. Again, it's only touching one line. It's not um, adjacent to the shading. It's not touching the other line. So I would say that that one is also definitely incorrect. Okay, so now I'm going to take the time to plug this one in because this is the one that was, this one was going to be the one that was a little tricky. I didn't know if it hit it perfectly, 5 comma 12. So I'm going to plug in 5 comma 12 for both of these. Let me just leave space for the blue one. I'm going to start with the blue one. So if I plug in 5 comma 12, don't forget that the first number is X and the second number is Y. So it's going to be 5 times 5 and then 8 times 12. I'm going to put a little question mark because we're checking if it's a true statement. This is 25, this is 96. If you add these, you're going to get 121. Um, greater than 120, yes. All right, so we have one true statement. Now to the other equation, which I don't know if you've forgotten, but it is a numbers of hours plus other number of hours that her other job cannot exceed. So she cannot work for more than 20. And again, we're going to take 5 and 12 and plug it in. So is 5 plus 12 less than 20? Is 17 less than 20? The answer is yes. So that means it is a correct answer. So the correct answers are A, B, and C.